YouTubers! <laughs> uh, another video, how to fix your car. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to uh, clean your brakes. Because uh, this, this car, uh, my friend just uh, bought this little car. It's a 207. And uh, he doesn't know how old the, the car is uh, in... Uh... <laughs> Oops! Okay, I'll start. He does know how the brakes are safety or not. So what we're going to do is clean him. So it doesn't. This little car is a Honda Fit, but all the cars are basically the same. So in this video, I'll show you how to just take a peek at your brakes, see uh, see how they're uh, like the, the the brake pads, how um, how thick they still are, how your disc is, and also if your caliper slides properly. So what, what the, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to remove these slides because I'm looking here, the rubbers are still in good shape. They're quite dirty. Um, oh, sorry. The first step that I've done is I took, uh, I took brake clean and I gave it a good, a good rinse everywhere. And I had my tub, uh, you can see right here. I had my tub uh, so the, the fluids would drip in there. Um, and uh, okay, so we're ready to start. So I'm going to remove these are quite tight. So I'm just going to remove their 12 millimeters and they should be easy to remove. Okay, so they're quite tight. It's, it's a lot easier if you turn uh, when you turn the, the, the wheel all the way down like you were turning to the left. That way you, you have the caliper right there for easy access. So, and also what I'm using, oh, sorry about that. I'm using a little tray to put all my nuts in so I don't lose them and they don't catch any sand also. So, okay, so the, I'm just about ready to remove the caliper. There's two things that I need. Hold on a sec. Well, first of all, you need a flathead screwdriver because I'm gonna pull it apart from here. You see it's moving right now. But I forgot a little something to tie down because I don't want it to hang because it's too hard on the brake line. So hold on a second. Hey guys, so I just took a, um, a little piece of bungee and I'm going to go through the coil shock. Okay, so it's just like this. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, you see it right here. Okay, so I'll zoom out a bit so we can see a lot easier. Oh, okay. So I still got my flathead screwdriver. I'm going to gently remove it okay so she's almost there okay so this I the only thing that's holding down is the brake line I don't want it to hang and stress the brake line for nothing so I just got this little thing to hang it so it stays right there so it's secure it won't go anywhere and also in the meantime while I'm there I'm going to take a peek at the, the link bar, the sway bar bushings and all that. And also like the CV axle right here. This is the boot itself. Just look if there's any cracks or a good indicator before looking at it, uh, in any cracks, there's gonna be lots of grease here and there, like a big stripe of grease. So that way it's, this is an indicator that the boot right here is broken. But okay, so we'll, we'll be back to the brakes. Okay, so now what you can see right now, right here, this is the metal disc brake right here. This is the thickness of the brake pads. As the first thing we're going to take a peek at, if they're uh, um, used up evenly, as you can see, like this here, it's got this, the width of my uh, flathead screwdriver here, just a bit tad. So what this means is the sliders don't slide properly because it, it uses this guy right here because the sliders don't move. And when you compress the brake, the pistons is inside. It pushes more here and it doesn't move like it should. So that's why, but this is the warning right here. You see the little groove inside? Hold on, I'll, I'll zoom in way more. Hopefully my focus can pick this up. Okay, I'll start again. Okay, oops, uh, please focus. I'll go back a bit. Okay, we're good now. Okay, see the thickness of the brake pads? Like this is the actual brake pad right here and this guy right here. This is the warning. So you can see there's still lots of left, life left into it. But I was always saying earlier, you can see this is less thick. See this one, this one doesn't go in, 
but this, this one does go in because this one is a bit uh, thinner so that's what so this is a good thing right now like these guys you can see they don't you should be able to move them with your finger so this is the problem so to remove these little guys the little rubber re be sure not to usually you should be able to remove these with your with your hands but this is what 17 millimeters full of muck no not the right size but anyways you should be able just with your fingers to pull it out if it's properly greased oh, she's coming right now see all this grease inside there's too much there's too much grease that's why it's it's not moving properly so what we're going to do is I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to remove I should have one close did I forget to grab one? Oh no there's one right here okay so this this why wasn't moving properly you don't need that much in there just a little dab so somebody was in here uh, prior because this car has uh, 300,000 kilometers on them and make sure the groove inside here is really clean because this is where the rubber sits in so it's best if you take like a little tool and just remove the muck out of there Oh jeez, the zoom. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, you just take the muck out of there like this. And just make sure you clean it. That way it's going to work a lot easier. Okay, so now we've got this clean. The inside groove. Alright. So we're going to reinsert it. So right now, like you've noticed, there was too much grease. So I'm going to insert it a few times. See, there's more grease on it. I'm going to remove a bit of grease till it moves in a lot easier. See right now, the way she moves? This is the way they should move. See the one in the bottom? Doesn't move. But there's still too much resistance, so I'm assuming there's just a bit too much grease. This is not technical, it's just uh, with experience, but that's, this is why I'm sharing this video with you. Okay, so we got it. See, that's why it's important to clean the edge right here. So, I don't know if you can hear that. The little click, because it clip, now it would be in proper place. But we're going to remove it and work at it just a bit. Uh, see, there's, not, there's just a bit of grease. You don't need that much in there. Just a dab is fine. Okay, so I'm assuming, see she goes back, this is perfect. Okay, so now we're going to, <clears throat> see this one here too, there's a problem. Okay, again, look at all the grease. Yeah, there's way too much. It's a good thing though, that whoever did that said, uh, probably said, uh, it won't seize up, there won't be any problems with this car, with the brakes, they'll go fine. That's okay. That I have nothing to say against whoever did that. No, 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 no. Just that he put just a tad bit too, too much grease. But sometimes too much is better, and sometimes not enough is not, not enough. But that's okay. Uh, we're just going to take a bit of time. And by doing this, what it's going to do is your car is going to have nice and smooth brakes because the braking system of a car is 60% in the front and 40% in the back. But in this instance, it was braking 50% this side, not 100%. Not like it was supposed to. Like a calipers should be working like this, evenly. Not like this. Because in this case, this is why there was too much grease in here. This is why this pad is a bit thinner. Big always was working just like this. This is a no, no. <laughs> but that's okay. So this is why I'm uh, cleaning all this. I'm sure that when uh, she takes a drive with this, she's going to go, wow, this car brakes a lot easier. Also, the, the brake pedal is it's going to be a lot smoother. And it's going to, the car is going to stop a lot easier just by doing this. So we're going to do the same process here. In the, back, the bottom, there's still too much grease. I'm almost
almost done. Just gonna take a last peek. Oh, still a bit too much. Because when I press inside, all the grease wants to go out and it goes inside the boot. But if there's too much, see right now the way it's bubbling up, this is just air. So right now, see the way she moves? This is perfect. Oh, this one start to seize up a bit. There's still maybe too much. Okay, so this is good enough. The, since the brake pads are fine, the disc, if you want to make sure it's fine, there's no nicks into it, just take your, your thumb with your nail and just scrape it along the disc. From top to bottom, there's little grooves. That's okay. It's an old car, so they're, but they're still good. But if there's a big groove, like in this instance, yeah, I can turn it. You can see the disc now is okay. It's fine. And on the other side, Alright, here, oh, the brake pad, the brake dust pad is fine all the way. Just here, there's a little pl place. Or, if you want to see in the back, oh, this is quite hard to turn. Okay, you remove a brake pad. To remove it, just take a flathead screwdriver, wiggle it a bit. Don't get your screwdriver in the middle here, and probably you're going to damage your disc. Go in the back, the brake pad should, should go, oh voila. Okay, and see there's all kinds of muck in here and a rust. I'm going to take two seconds, clean just the edges here and here. And before, uh, now I can see the disc in the back here. She's nice and even, so the brakes are still good for a little while. So in this maintenance, I'm going to maintain these guys. It's always a good thing just to remove uh, the brake pads. See the grooves right here? They collect all the, the muck. This also vents the brakes, so it's a good thing if you clean it out. Just like I, just like I did right now. I'm almost done. There's all kinds of muck in here. This stuff is quite hard. Okay, so one's done. So, anyways, you get the you get the picture and just clean it. Okay, when install it, these little clips right here, just take a little rag and just clean it before uh, install it, and it should be fine. So, just remember, the warning clip goes on the inside, and the brake pad goes on the outside. This little clip is called the warning clip. So, the this clip right here, as you can see. It's sticking out just, there's all kinds of muck in here. I'm going to clean it so you can see it a lot better. Okay, so you see this, this little brake, um, this metal, uh, sorry, this little metal pin right here. It overhangs just a bit of the plate into the brake pad and it evens up with the little holes. So what this does is when your brakes are almost due to be replaced, it will start squeaking when you brake. So when you brake and your car goes, sorry about the sound effects, but it goes something like squeak. Then you, you release the brakes and it stops. That means this little pin is, uh, the warning is up, is up there and your brakes are due to replace any minute. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that phone call, but that's okay. So I'm back. Okay, so I got these two little sandpaper. This is a piece of sandpaper. Doesn't matter the grit and a little sponge sandpaper, just uh, that's my preference liking. So I'm just going to give it a quick sand. Well, actually I'm cleaning the brake pads. Make sure they sit in properly. So I'm just going to give this these guys a little sanding like this on both sides. I'll do the other brake pad. Of course, it's an old car, and there's all kinds of grime on the road, so the grime does got gets <laughs> it gets everywhere, and that way, well, just this takes just a bit of your time, 
and it will make your car brake easier and last longer also. So I'm just going to sand these down just a Well, basically I'm removing the, I'm removing the, the muck. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm ready to reinstall this. Okay, one brake pad goes here. One. Again, make sure it's in the groove in the bottom and it lights up, lines up in the groove in the front and the top also. And it should snap just in. Voila! It snapped right in. So now I'm ready to put back the caliper. Since we did not replace the brake pads, if we were to replace the brake, the brake pads, see this brake caliper right here, this piston needs to be in like, oh, hold on a second. Okay, so this is the edge of the piston. The edge should be level to this thing right here. So how to do this is remove the oil filler cap first and take, there's a special tool for that. I take big vice grips, they're called body vice grips, there's big clamps, and they clamp here, 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 and slowly, it goes in the middle here, and then it goes in, 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 and then I can reinstall with the new brake pads. So in this instance, we didn't put new brake pads, but that's okay. It should go right in, like this, and see these guys here, you have to push him in, and the one on top also. You just have to line it up. I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver to hot to line back the nuts. Okay, so hopefully you like this video and this video helped you a lot how to maintain your disc brakes. Uh, I click right here for the brakes in the back because this is the front. Uh, how to uh, remove, because I'm assuming on this car there's dr drum, drum brakes in the back. I didn't look. But anyways, I'll click right here for the video for the brakes in the back if they're not disc brakes. But anyways, disc brakes in just about any car, it's the same process how to look for defective parts or how it's working or if it's in good shape or just if it needs maintenance. This is a good thing to do before you take out your car out for a spin, especially if it's a used car that you just bought. Uh, it would be a lot safer, just take two seconds, just take, take a look at the brakes, see uh, uh, in what condition they are. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or click right here to subscribe.